to see you again for another episode of Cookies and Christmas with Kids World. I have had fun cooking with you all throughout December. It's nice to make new recipes. Have you ever tried making a new recipe before? There was this one time I flipped through a cookbook and I found a recipe that looked delicious. It had some of my favorite ingredients. There was ground beef and sweet potatoes and apples. And you mix it all together and you make a casserole. So I followed the recipe really carefully and I made this special casserole. It was disgusting. It was the worst thing I have ever put in my mouth. It was so gross. Not a good recipe. So how do you know if a recipe is gonna be good or bad? Well, sometimes you don't when it comes out of a cookbook or off the internet, but the best recipes I've ever had are the ones that came from friends. Chances are, if my friend likes something, I'm gonna like it too. I love when a friend shares a recipe with me. Which reminds me, I have a special surprise for you today. You ready? Here it is. This is my friend Eunice. She's here all the way from Cameroon. Thanks for joining us today. Hey. So Eunice is gonna share a special recipe with us today. What are you gonna make? Okay. Oh my goodness, that sounds delicious. Let's get started. Sure. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for teaching me how to make crepes. You're welcome. Let me give it a try. Okay. Mmm, bon appetit. Mmm, this is delicious. Thank right. you. You're welcome. So, I hear sometimes people fill these with different things. What do you suggest that we fill ours with? Oh, yeah, sure. You can fill it up with fresh fruits mm -hmm. or a fr fruit preserve or Nutella. Mm. Um, you can eat it plain or mm. do like we do in Cameroon, we fill it up with scrambled eggs. Ooh, that would make a great breakfast. Sure will. Well, I hope you enjoy making this recipe. We've put it in the video description below so you can make crepes at home. Enjoy. Now, I want to tell you about a couple more things. These crepes were so tasty. And that reminds me of our memory verse for the month of December. It says, taste and see how good the Lord is. The one who takes refuge in him is truly happy. Remember earlier this month we talked about what it means to taste and see how good the Lord is. To taste and see Him means we want to draw closer because He's so wonderful. We just can't get enough of Him. And just like a recipe that's amazing, so good that we want to share it, we also want to share the good news of Jesus. And at Christmas time, it's especially a good time for us to share with others why we celebrate. Now let's take a moment and listen to a little bit more of our Christmas story. The Very First Christmas by the Beginner's Bible Shepherd's Visit On the night Jesus was born, shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly an angel stood before them. God's light shined all around. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring joyful news to all people. Today in the town of Bethlehem, a savior has been born. He is lying in a manger. Then a choir of angels appeared. They sang, Glory to God in the highest. Peace and goodwill to everyone on earth. The shepherds rushed to Bethlehem. There they found baby Jesus. They told Mary and Joseph what the angel said. As they returned to their sheep, the shepherds told everyone what they had seen and heard. All along the way, the shepherds shouted praises to God. Did you hear what I heard in our Christmas story about how the good news of Jesus was shared? First, an angel came to tell the shepherds about Jesus' birth, and then a whole chorus of angels were there, giving glory to God. 
And then the shepherds themselves ran to see Jesus. And then they told everybody about the good news of Jesus' birth. Well, you and I should also share the good news that we have found in Jesus. Just like we share a good recipe, we want to share the even better news of Jesus with others. Let's look for opportunities this week to be a blessing and to share that good news. See you soon. Bye.